Okay, so we are going to talk about today about obviously farming that we've been talking about, but today I wanted to get a little bit more on to kind of what, who you should be, you know, farming to maybe right now um, and, and maybe how to get some good, you know, areas to get some good content so that way you can build different types of marketing because marketing is, is one of the biggest, you know, biggest things because your marketing has to be attractive. It can't look cheap you know, it has to be catchy and uh, in order for, you know, to catch someone's eye. So important, you know, that you, that you definitely invest in that. So the first thing here I wanted to show you guys was that if you look at the expired listings, um, and this was actually pulled today. So you notice um, in Chino, the amount of the average expired listing, and then there, the average days on the market, there's seven currently. Um, that have expired. So, it, and I believe this is in the last day or so. So there's seven. And then in Fontana, there's 27. So, so throughout Fontana, there's 27 expired listings currently. And then in Ranch Cucamonga, there's 25. Moreno Valley, 33. And Riverside, 34. So those numbers are really high. And there's a reason for it. You know, every Seller's circumstances obviously are going to be different and have changed, you know, with everything that's going on. But it's important for you guys to realize that there's a few things that may have happened. Number one, it could have been that the listing agent was fearful themselves and didn't know how to react. And therefore, the con you know, the seller was scared. They didn't know because you know, they follow our lead. So if they um, weren't given the proper, you know, direction or the proper information, then it may have led them to, you know, be scared. Second thing could be they may have lost their job, so they wouldn't have any place to go after the fact. I mean, there's a lot of different um, scenarios, but the only way to know is by reaching out. And by reaching out, not that, hey, I can sell your house faster than your last agent, stuff like that, but maybe something related to, you know, to the situation, to COVID, maybe some kind of marketing to say, you know what, it, maybe if you've been affected by this and you need guidance or you need direction, you know, I'm here to guide and help you, whether it's selling your home, helping you stay in your home, whatever it is, but it's something that you want to give, you know, and come across as caring, not just I'm here, you know, to, to sell your home, because that might not be where they're at right now. That doesn't mean that they won't be there at the end of the year, because obviously they were trying to sell for a reason. So mm -hmm. these are definitely people that you want to reach out to because they were on the market to sell. So sometimes circumstances may change temporarily, but not permanently. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys an insight on that. Um, one of the places where they do um, offer a lot of free marketing is Breakthrough Broker. If you haven't logged on here, I highly recommend that you do. You create an account, which by, you know, your name, your company, all of your information. And then what you're going to do is upload your photo, your logo to your business. And it allows you to create different types of, you know, content. There's postcards. There's a lot of seller's information, buyer's information. There's, you know, uh, presentations. You name it. There's a, there's a lot of stuff on here that you can actually go in there and do. So I recommend that you, you know, you go on there and you kind of just mess with it and see, um, you know, what you like on there. Because there might be certain things you like and you don't like. Now, just so you know, if you download one of their, like, let's just say you like a, a flyer of theirs, or you like, you know, maybe a door hanger of theirs, or you like something, you can download it to Keynote or to PowerPoint, depending on, you know, what device you're working off of. And you can actually modify it as well. So let's just say you like something about it, but not maybe the whole thing. Well, upload it into, you know, Keynote or, or PowerPoint and you can actually change colors or change some of the things about it. So that's also a nice thing because it's like acts as a template where you can also change things around. So just so you guys know that as well, you can you have that option. Um, the next option is Corefact. Um, this actually is a company in which, let's just say you don't have the time. Breakthrough Broker is more if you want to do it yourself type of thing. Um, and Breakthrough uh, Broker allows you to, you know, create and download and print and do all those things. Whereas Corefact is actually a service. So these are for the agents that don't want to do it themselves, 
but will want to pay for a company to do it for them. So what you actually do though, is you do create the postcards and, and all of the good stuff yourself. So you would input all the information, like if you were doing a market update or if you were doing you know, a flyer or a postcard, you're gonna input all the information yourself. What they do is they will actually mail it out for you um, or they'll print them and you can actually door knock with them or you can mail them out yourself, whichever you prefer, but they offer you mm -hmm. pricing to show you the difference in depending on what it is. The other thing is, is when we use Fidelity Total Farm, you're able to download your farm from there and you're able to transfer it directly to Corefact. So that way, let's just say you want them to mail them out for you, then you send them to the people you want them to be mailed to. So that's kind of a nice thing that the Fidelity Farm is, is actually synced with it. So you have the option to download your list from Fidelity Farm and then upload it in Corefact. So that's one of the nice things. And it is a pretty reasonable um, price if you, if you had to compare from your time to you doing it by yourself and all that stuff and mailing out yourself or spending the time out in the field, it really does add up to about the same. So, but again, it's just depending on your budget and where you're at at that point. Uh, Corefact does also offer a um, elite uh, like group. And what it is, is if you, if you um, sign up for it, then you become like one of their elite agents or whatever. And then every 12 months, they automatically send something for you. And it's all like seasonal stuff and some market updates. Like you can tell them what you want to send, but it's automatically sent. So that's another feature that they offer um, if you want to, you know, continue to, to market your database every month and, you know, on the same time and be on, be on top of it. Um, this here is, well, this is, I guess, what we're talking about, the core fact. Um, well, these are here actually are, these were done on core fact. And these are some of the stuff they also sell, like these signs here, if you like those, but these are kind of what their brochures look like and what we made on there. And so there's newsletters, stationery, but they have all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's, it's really nice. They're, and their quality is really nice. I've actually had some, um, those pads made, what are they called, the writing pads, where I gave to my clients and they, they're nice. They were, they were did very good, very good quality. So this here is actually the Core Fact Elite, which I was talking about. And this is where it's the 12 months of direct mail marketing is done for you. So it gets done for you where again, consistency, consistency is the name of the game, which we've always said that consistency, consistency. So you design how you want it, you know, your, your color palette and how you want everything to go out. So that way it's uniform and they always recognize it as being you. Um, they do offer free consultations. So you give them a call and then they'll go over all of their, you know, their um, items that they have available. The other option is you can use Canva um, Canva also allows you to create different marketing pieces. If this is again, if you want to do it on your own and you don't want to, um, you know, pay someone or you can pay someone to do Canva for you if you don't want to, you know, find the time to, to do it. So there's different options, but this just tells you just depending on your style and what it is that you like to do, what you're able to do. Um, these are some door hangers um, that were actually, uh, I think, on Etsy. Um, so you can even go to Etsy as well and find um, different vendors who do real estate marketing and, um, and you can again have them created to, to, to your branding, to your taste, to your liking. Um, but the whole key is, is you want it to be consistent. You want the color schemes to remain consistent. So if you are thinking about updating like your, your branding, I definitely recommend that you do that before you start heavily farming because you want it to remain consistent. You want that your face to always be recognizable and you wanna always be sure about that. So the other thing I was gonna show you guys too, so that was in regards to, you know, just how the marketing is and, and where you can get it if you, if you find the need for it. If you already have a place and you already have systems then you don't have to change them, but this is just some ideas um, if you're looking for them. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys was and I don't know if any of you guys are currently using it or not, but it's important to, 
you can create just like you create the farms in your fidelity farm or whatever farming that you're using the other good thing that you can do is go into your mls and create different searches for your farming areas because again you're the expert in those areas so you need to know what's taking place in your area. You need to know why did that listing come up and I wasn't there? What, what did I miss? Or as soon as a property sells in that area, you need to go and introduce yourself to those buyers because they're going to start seeing you a lot because you're the market expert. So I always say the first thing you should invest in is calendars. Calendars or something that they could stick on their refrigerator that's a magnet. Uh, whether it's, you know, um, recipe or it's like, um, you know, uh, some kind of information that you know they're going to keep on their fridge. Um, it could even be a notepad. It could be a dry erase board. It just depends on what it is th that your budget is that you want to spend per person. But if it's a $2 investment, a $3 investment, whatever it is, you know, you want them on your fridge because again, remember, they're not anything free people keep, especially if they can use it. So that's the key is you don't want to give them something they're not going to use. You give them a flyer, they're going to eventually throw it away. So you could even do even like personalize a, a, a postcard and just print one, you know, from your office or whatever, or even a flyer or something with the picture of their home and saying, you know, welcome to our neighborhood with their address. That's something they'll probably keep. Why? Because it's personalized. So there's certain things that people will keep. Um, but what I want you guys to do is to go here into the, the matrix. And when you go in here, you're going to search like you, write, write, you know, like you normally would. So if we go in here and search and I want to create my farm. So you're going to select everything here. Just select everything because you want to know everything that's going on. But of course, you don't want to know it for the 180 days unless it's your first time that you're doing it. Then maybe you do want to know the 180 days because you want to look to see what has taken place in the last three, you know, three to six months. That's fine. But for, if you know, for, for, for to keep it for your farming, you don't want to go back that far every time. You just want to go back one to two days. So you can put two days, one day, whichever you prefer, however, however much time you think it's going to take for you to get back. So I would say two days is sufficient. And then let's just say for me, I'm going to say I'm doing a farm, let's just say in Chino. So I'm going to say Chino, you, it's up to you if you want to put single family or if you just want to do condos. That is your preference, just depending on where it is. The next thing I'll do is I'll go to the map selection. And here I'm going to find what areas do I want to farm. But if you notice, look at everything. This is this is in the last two days. So any homes that were listed, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, closed in the last two days or expired in the last two days. But if you notice, there's there's quite a bit of activity. You know, there, there really is. So I'm going to find where it is I want to farm unless I want to do the whole city. It's your choice. But if you're specific in where you want to be at, you could you know, map it out. Let's just say I want to be, this is all I want to do. Let's just say, I don't know. Let's just say that is my farm area where I, you know, constantly and consistently send those people stuff. So then if I go to results, this is what's going on in those particular areas. So I do show that I currently have six active listings in my farm. Um, and then there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and six actively in escrow. So that's 12 potential opportunities that for whatever reason, I miss them. So again, you want to know why are you missing what's in your farm? So if you're farming, the more you're on top of things, then obviously the more that you're going to be able to have those opportunities. And then I do notice here that there's four that are withdrawn. So I will check to find out why are these withdrawn. I'm going to, you know, click on them and maybe go down here and see if maybe the, the agent said there's a reason why they're withdrawn and it doesn't look like there shows that there's a reason to be withdrawn. So there's a possibility that the seller maybe decided to take it off the market for a bit, but who knows, it may go to an expired, it may not. But when it is withdrawn, there is still an active contract, so you can't technically approach the seller, but you can just watch and wait and see 
what you know what might possibly happen um, in in this you know in this particular situation. The other thing you can do is you can even send a marketing piece, obviously with the verbiage at the bottom saying if your home is listed, this is not an attempt to solicit your you know your listing. Um, but they're still going to read your marketing and they're still going to see what it is that you're doing. That's why I'm telling you that marketing is huge. It's important. It's a reflection of you. So you want to make sure that you are spending, you know, the, the time and energy and making sure that it is nice. So again, this is it. These are the same thing. These are just homes that have been withdrawn and it doesn't even, like I said, it doesn't say why it doesn't say like this one says recent death in the property. See, so, and it says, no showings at this time, drive by only, showings will start February 22nd. Well, that didn't happen and we're already, um, you know, in, in almost June and it's withdrawn. So again, so this tells me that this house more than likely is probably gonna go back on the market. You know, there's, there has to be a reason, you know, there was a disconnect somewhere, something. So again, I just wanted to share that with you just to kind of show you guys Really so, Sonia, can I ask a question? How you can market and then kind of give you some more ideas on what to market. So that way, you know, you guys have something to, to start with. 